name is uh, Monty Powell. Uh, a week prior to Farouk's uh, demise, I uh, spoke to him on the phone. I had actually spoke to him that Saturday, but he seemed pretty groggy and whatnot. So I told him, you know, I'll try to call him back the next day because he was telling me he was on medication and it was, uh, you know, got him kind of woozy. And uh, so the next day he called me back and uh, he started talking to me uh, about having some kind of remembrance uh, for him. And uh, he was saying that he wanted me to send him a picture and that he wanted other people to send him a picture because he wanted to put those pictures together. He wanted the people in Memphis to know his Minnesota family. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and so I told him I would, I would send him a picture uh, of how fast did he want it. Uh, he told me that uh, it was in no hurry to send it to him, but within the next week or something like that. You know? And, you know, I don't think from that conversation that he thought that he would be here that next week. Uh, and uh, so I uh, uh, tried to get back in touch with him, but the phone that I was calling, I couldn't, I couldn't get with him. I had no knowledge that uh, his uncle, I believe, and his brother had taken him to his uncle's home, and they were taking care of him around the clock at that point. I didn't learn that until his demise uh, his sister Denise uh, told me that. Uh, actually, she sent a group message out, and that's how I knew he had actually passed. And then I got back in contact with her. Mm -hmm. uh, several things about Farouk that I remember. We was, uh, like I said, pretty close. We had a lot of conversations, uh, uh, respectful disagreements. Farouk could be real opinion. <laughs> and, uh, and, no, and, no. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, you know, most part, we, uh, we was in agreement on, on many things. One thing I know, even though we call him Farouk, and that was the name he chose for himself, his name, his middle name was Seti, uh, and last name Elijah one. Farouk told me in one of our conversations, he had legally changed his name, uh, his government name from, uh, to Farouk uh, Seti Elijah one. He told me that if he had it to do again, he wouldn't use Farouk. He told me that uh, Farouk was an Arab name and that uh, he would have just left his name as Seti Elijah one, which was a representation of, uh, you know, two African names. Hmm. And, uh, he uh, liked the 19th dynasty in mm. Egypt, and that's where Seti come from. In the honor of uh, Seti the second of the mm -hmm. And, uh, but we, uh, you know, we had uh, many enjoyable times together. We even lived together for a while. That's why I met Fokiak when me and Farouk lived together. Mm. And uh, uh, he was just a real good guy, real down to earth guy. Uh, the Farouk that I heard about prior to then, I never knew that Farouk. I only knew the one that I knew. And, uh, and uh, I'm going to miss him a lot. You know, he was a good brother as far as I was concerned. And I was real sad when I heard, uh, when he told me, when I finally got in touch with him. I had lost contact with Farouk for about three years. Hmm. I remember Pokey was the one who told me, must have been four or five years ago, that Farouk had retired and moved to Memphis. So the phone number that I had at Farouk was no longer his number. And uh, I, didn't ha I didn't know his sister Denise, nor did I know his brother, uh, even though I had lived in Memphis at one time. I knew his sister, one of them who had passed, named Flo. They called her Flo. And, uh, but she was no longer here, so I was unable to uh, uh, get in touch with anybody regarding him in Memphis. And, uh, and I got a call from him. Some kind of way he got my number from somewhere and uh, he called me. Uh, yeah, you gave it to me. That's right, folks. And, uh, 
and I got a call from him, and uh, and uh, he told me that he was diagnosed with, uh, uh, he said stomach cancer, I don't know if it was pancreatic or what, uh, in October, and this is like December, I believe it was, when I'm talking to him, and that uh, they told him that he only had uh, three months to live, mm -hmm. and that he wasn't doing the uh, chemo or the uh, radiation because he saw no need to do that. He was going to do alternative medicine because his, from his viewpoint, it was, if you're going to tell me I got stage four cancer and I got three months to live and you can't save me, why do I need to get that and suffer, you know, for those next three months if that's what it's going to be? Uh, you know, and so he didn't do that and he did alternative medicine and we know that he lived at least three months longer than that. I didn't get a chance to see him like the sister here. I wanted to go see him and when the opportunity came, uh, in fact, uh, it would have been, uh, uh, that opportunity would have been about a week ago. He had already expired, you know. So I did send my former wife a uh, lady that I was married to in Memphis. She had gone by there to see him a couple of times and see if there was anything she could do for him. And I had my daughter who lived in Memphis also to contact him. She contacted him by telephone. But uh, like I said, you know, I could tell you a lot of stories. I'm not gonna take up the time though, in dealing with Farouk, you know, and uh, some of the things we did and, and, and conversations that we had. But uh, uh, I'm gonna miss our brother. And as far as I'm concerned, he was a real good brother, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.